Hey everyone, it's so great to see you. Look right over here at the screen, get those hands and feet still, and make sure you are paying attention. Looks like you're ready, let's get started. Last week we learned how Jesus finished his work on earth and then flew up into the sky to return to heaven. Jesus has prepared his disciples and taught them everything they needed. They were excited and ready for the Great Commission, AKA spread the word. They wanted to tell everyone about how Jesus saved the world. Jesus would always be with them. Shortly after Jesus went towards heaven, his disciples went back into Jerusalem and went to the room where they were staying. There was an issue that needed to be addressed. Judas, the disciple who had betrayed Jesus, was no longer around. They needed to find someone to fill his position, the old position, so there would be 12 disciples again. What an important position to fill. Who would be picked for such an important job? The disciples did something that we should all do when we face a big decision. They prayed. Next, they had a big meeting with about 120 of the followers of Jesus. They were looking for a person to help the other 11 disciples spread the word of Jesus all over the world. Can you imagine applying to be a disciple of Jesus? Was there an application? It probably looks something like this. I'm getting some groundbreaking news, hot off the press. Do I have your attention now? There is an opening for another disciple. We are looking for a 12th member. You must be able to... Spread the word of Jesus all over the world. Check. Help start the first church. Check. Have been around Jesus from the very beginning of his ministry. He needed to have been around from the time Jesus was baptized all the way until Jesus ascended into heaven. Hmm. Check. Tell everyone what he saw. He could honestly say, I saw these things happen with my own eyes. Check. If you feel like you're a candidate for this position, talk to one of the disciples of Jesus for more information. Find them and ask them for an interview. You should hurry. So it came down to two men. One was named Matthias and the other was Justice. I'm sure both men were awesome people who truly loved Jesus, but only one could be chosen to be a part of the 12. The disciples prayed, Lord, you know the minds of everyone. Show us which one of these two you have chosen to do this work. Lord, show us which one could take Judas's place as a disciple. Shortly after, God revealed to everyone who the new disciple would be, Matthias. Matthias would be the newest and final member of the 12 disciples. What an amazing honor to have been picked for such an important job. I'm sure he was thinking, I am chosen. Hey, that's our bottom line. Let's say today's bottom line. I am chosen together on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. I am chosen. I'm sure both Matthias and Justice were thinking, wow, how am I gonna handle this important job if I get picked? Do I have what it takes? Matthias had to lean on God and trust him to take such an important position. Justice was probably a little sad that he didn't get picked. Justice also had to trust God and believe that he had a perfect plan. Justice wasn't picked to be a part of the 12, but he was still definitely chosen. God loves all of us and has chosen us to be his children. Let's say today's bottom line, I am chosen on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. I am chosen. He wants to know us and have a relationship with us. He has chosen all of us for a very specific purpose. He has an amazing plan for you. Sometimes we can feel rejected, left out, or like we never got to be picked for anything. Always remember, I am chosen. Thanks for joining me today.